Hello. That there, you can see, is our Jack. And it's the last weekend in July. And I thought I'd show you my garden. It's a sunny, but the forecast weather is going to stop soon. This is a sunflower that Josh grew. It's taller than me. Uh, and he grew it from a seed. And it's coming on quite nicely. As you can see, runner beans, plenty of flowers on, and plenty of beans starting to set. Not a lot of green. Last last year I had a lot of green and not as many beans, so this year it's a bit different. These are potatoes. Um, Charlotte's these, they're not doing very well but it's been a difficult year for a lot of things. These potatoes are bulger and I've been having a fertile into these this last week or two and I just keep pulling a couple of pounds out at a time. Oh. These here that you can see, they're artichoke plants. Then we've got my main bed, the cabbages in, a bit of broccoli, red cabbage, a lot of white turnip. Cabbages have been very poor and very slow this year. Uh, but white turnips, I've had a couple of boilings off. Uh, and there'll be another, well there's some down in the freezer, there'll be some more coming off this week. Rhubarb's been good to a point, it was very slow, we had an early lot off, then nothing, and then suddenly we had another load off last weekend. In here are some leeks that I just planted to replace where potatoes have come from. Some more potatoes in tubs. And this was this bed was potatoes. It's now got my winter cabbages and Sprouts in down the bottom. Well, this should have been full of parsnips, just full of weeds, not a sign. This should have been full of carrots, nothing. These are potatoes, uh, harlequin, and most of them are doing absolutely nothing because they got eaten by slugs and where all that rain that should have been full of beetroot as you can see there's a few beetroots on but nothing of any consequence and all this down here I've given it up as a bad job it's supposed to be onions as you can see absolutely nothing the onions have done nothing I've just let it go to waste not bothered with that some more potatoes in pots up there and into my greenhouse I've plenty of tomatoes on no sign of them going red yet lot of green a lot of green but they have all started to set now uh, it's been difficult because I have to keep getting me my little brush and tickling them like this and I do this whenever the sun's on them which at the moment it's into problem but it has been a problem all that banging you can hear is somebody having some scaffolding put up <laughs> everybody's always doing work round here but I'm, I'm reasonably happy with these tomatoes they'll come on, they'll be late again but doesn't matter uh, and I'll just show you into the other greenhouse this is my cold greenhouse, not really a greenhouse, nice and warm in here actually. Uh, these are lettuces that I just keep pinching out the tops and some more grow up. And I just, when I want some lettuce for a salad I just pinch, take a few leaves off and it's cut and come again and it's um, 
little gem really and then these are kale plants to go in in a couple of weeks time uh, a few more winter collies to go in this is a leak experiment I'm trying don't suppose it'll do much and that's just about the sum total of my garden up in the centre of me my beans I've got that's a kale that is a cauliflower it's just starting to harden up a little bit another kale doing nothing another cauliflower I really am amazed the amount of beans I'm going to get uh, it's, it's good because I've got a fair amount of sunflowers, not sunflowers um, how do they call them? Long things, yeah. Fox loves, and they're always a mass of bees. So obviously, as they've died back, and the bees have come down here, so they've been pollinated. I know there's a damn butterfly. There. Look at it! Ah! Yeah. Oh, we don't like them white butterflies. I'll see if I can get it out. They don't like it. They just do not like it. Dead. Dead, that's done it. <laughs> oh, I'm a rotten devil, aren't I? Red cabbages are coming on nicely. Um, looks a bit of a jundle in here, but... i say, the early cabbages... I haven't had a cabbage off to eat yet, but they're starting now to harden up. But red cabbages have come on quite well. But the white turnips... Last year I hardly got any off, this year I've got loads off. Apples doing nothing on the apple tree at all, there's one or two and I don't think they'll do much at all. And then, say hello Jack. Smile, wave. Hello. Hello. <laughs> That's our Jack. And this is my top bean bed. This is the French beans, these. And there again, they're just starting to come on. They've just sat there for weeks and weeks and done nothing. Well, there you are. My garden, end of July. Bye.